You just love hearing Wanderer in your ear? Same. It's my favorite part about him, just growling in my ear every two seconds. wear a Santa hat for my Christmas spirit? I should get a Santa hat. I haven't worn a Santa hat in like years. I miss wearing one. I should wear one while I still have hair. <laughs> what I think of 4.2's story? I think it's pretty good. I think 4.2's story is pretty good. Probably the best story arc on quest that they've put out so far. Thank you, Juice Kim. Why for, for me, Sempi? Why for me, Sempi? Thank you for the two months, Juice Kim. Welcome back. <clears throat> I want to wear a hat. I mean, I've been wearing hats so often now because I really don't like how my hair looks. I actually haven't talked about this like anywhere else besides like my alt on Twitter, but like. I've been thinking about cutting my hair, like just completely cutting it off and restarting from the beginning next month because I don't know. I'm just not feeling it. I haven't been feeling it for like the past six months and I kind of just want to like restart. It's like, there's like a lot of reasons why I want to restart. My earrings look very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Boba. Earring is meh. Okay, hold well on. Too bad. That's, that's too bad. Um today today uh, kind of want to see if i can do the event so i'm not like doing it on the last minute like this one so it's it's uh done in four days i don't know how long it is though I'm honestly not sure how long it is, and I don't want to be like, I don't want to be here super long. Sure, you could get it done. Am I done with the story quest? No. I haven't done any story quests. I got a long ass time, so. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Where's the Christmas decorations? I don't have any. I'm still trying to decorate my house. Like I just got done finishing my room. I don't even have like an actual living room. I don't even have a couch. I don't got any Christmas stuff yet. So I might, this might be like a Christmas list year. Unless I buy like a tiny, put it like right there or something. Still, yeah. Dude, it's fucking Dude, furniture is expensive as shit. Furniture is expensive. I mean it's not like I don't have money, but it's like it's still fucking it's still hard to spend that much money on furniture. Furniture is expensive and you gotta build that shit too. Dude, the the uh the dresser I built for my room is was such a pain in the ass. I swear I'm sticking with IKEA from now on because I fucking hate building furniture 
from any other place besides IKEA. They always have furniture that with a shit ton of parts. I swear. I don't know how IKEA does it, but they just always have like the simplest building instructions with not a lot of parts. Yet all these other companies just be having like dozens and dozens of parts that take you like fucking six hours to do, minimum. It took me like all, like when I built it, it took me all night to, to finish building the dresser. And even then, I still ended up like breaking one of the parts. But at least it doesn't, uh, you can't even notice it, but I still ended up breaking it, and I was like, fuck. This shit is ass. I'm never buying from this company again. It's not even noticeable, though. It's like on the inside of the, uh, of one of the cabinets. One of the drawers, dressers, whatever. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I'm probably just gonna, like, stick to Ikea from now on, because I fucking hate building from any other company, and he just walked into a story club. Huh? Isn't that Charlotte? I don't know if this, this is the event, right? Fine. What could she want with Lapine Pauline? Pretty please with the cherry on top, Charlotte. Journalist extraordinaire. Please tell me you're joking. I read that a gang of criminals tricked the Gardamex by disguising themselves as blubber beasts. It's true, isn't it? It has to be. Is this the uh, event? That I'm supposed to be doing, or is this the, another one? Hold on, I'm gonna restart. Find out myself. Just find out myself. This is the camera lens one? Oh, I didn't even get that though. I didn't even finish that one. I didn't uh, do the last part we had to do to like get the camera lens. <laughs> okay, I'm stuck in the event. Nice. Okay. Isn't that Charlotte? That's fine, I'll just finish this what real quick. What could she want with Lapine Pauline? Pretty please with the cherry on top, Charlotte. Journalist extraordinaire. Please tell me you're joking. I read that a gang of criminals tricked the Gardamex by disguising themselves as blubber beasts. It's true, isn't it? It has to be. I've invested all my savings into graph adversarial technology and even taken out a sizable bank loan. I'm begging you, begging you like the beggiest beggar in all of begdom. Why is she banging her head on the ground like that? Damn. You do not need to do that. Okay, okay. I need you to calm down a little, Miss Lapine Pauline. I admire your passion for your research, and I don't mean to dash your hopes for those, um, big ticket orders. But I'm afraid I'm not joking. The Blubber Beast incident was a short story mailed to us by an anonymous amateur author, written in the style of a true story. Amateur author? Oh, Paimon sees what happened here. Sounds like the report Lapine Pauline read in the Steambird wasn't in the news section after all. Funnily enough, I actually remember being in a meeting where the editing team was debating the potential risk of misleading the public with this story. They even went to Maison Guardianage for advice. But to our surprise, they fully supported us printing it. They figured that the false intel would be a great way to dupe potential criminals into wearing ridiculous costumes when breaking the law. In truth, Gardamex are extremely sophisticated in their capabilities. They can identify criminals just as reliably as the best human guards, so a crude disguise isn't gonna get you far. If anything, it'll just make you stand out all the more. Since we ran that story, the Maison Guardianage has made a slew of arrests, including, uh, one phantom blubber beast, a titanic red crown finch, and a specter man. So I knew this story <clears throat> helped out law enforcement, but this is the first time I'm learning of an innocent citizen being deceived by it, and investing so much more of for nothing. Yeah. Do I have Charlotte? No, I don't, unfortunately. I didn't get to get Charlotte when she, her banner was on. I'm sad. <laughs> Uh-oh. So Lapine Pauline's whole research project is based on a fictional story? Which means we're not gonna get a big bonus after all. But more importantly, she's gonna lose everything she's invested. That's an L. Traveler! Paimon! You're back! I was in the area taking some photos for a story when I got to talking to Miss Lapine Pauline about her research. She told me about your collaboration. 
She was hoping I could write an article to spread awareness about image recognition technology. She even paid me for the article and gave me one of her prototype devices before I could get a word in. I unfortunately had to dash her hopes, and I'm afraid all your hard work was in vain too. She's desperately trying to find a way to rescue the project and get you the Mora you're due. I've tried to let her down gently, but she's finding it all very hard to accept. This is a new situation for us, too. It's such a pity. It seems like the author was only trying to make the story interesting. And the Maison Guardianage only had Fontaine's best interest in mind. She's just a victim of a misunderstanding. Oh, wait. Miss Lapine Pauline? Oh, she got what are you doing? What is she gonna do? I'm gonna pick a fight with a Gardamech, head to the opera at Bicles, and get a one-way ticket to the Fortress of Maropeet. <laughs> Damn, she's she's fucking desperate. That way, I won't have to repay my debts. It's the only way I can afford to keep on living. <laughs> Why would you even... Okay, well... Whoa, there's no need to go that far. I mean, come on, look at you. You wouldn't even dent the Gardamix armor. In all likelihood, they'd only hold you up at the Maison Guardianage for a few days before letting you out, and then you'd still have to repay your debts. Yeah. Actually... Instead of going into the technicalities of that, how much did you actually invest? How bad can it really be? Two hundred and seventy thousand mora. Two hundred seventy thousand? That's chump change. Okay, well, if that's chump to the change for me. Mirapede over a sum like that seems like a last that resort. That ain't shit. Surely there must be other options. Not anymore. I used to be an equipment supplier to the Fontaine Research Institute before that blew to pieces, and now I'm just a small-time engineer. I scraped together for the past few years, but I put every there. last mora into this project, and now I'm left with nothing. It's not just my savings that are gone. It's my whole future as a graph adversarial technology specialist and my dreams of becoming a billionaire one day. Yeah, at this point, you've hit rock bottom. <laughs> She's at rock bottom. My life is over. Don't despair, Miss Lapine Pauline. I think I know a way for you to turn this around. This prototype you've given me the camera lens for image recognition sample collection. It's really quite something. You said you designed it specifically for high fidelity image capture and analysis, yes? The rapid focal length adjustment is a very useful function in its own right. It's sure to make many journalists' jobs much easier. In fact, I'd say it has the potential to revolutionize Fontaine's news media. So your research efforts thus far are by no means in vain. The technology you've developed may have many applications that you've never even considered. Gotta hype her up so she doesn't ac accidentally kill herself somehow. Really? Absolutely. I've been working as a journalist for the Steambird for a long time now. No one understands the issues we journalists face on a day-to-day -day basis better than me. So keep calm, take heart, and start thinking about mass production. In the meantime, I'll show your invention to all my colleagues to drum up interest in your product. I can't believe it. If this is true, then I can look into setting up a whole camera lens development pipeline. My big ticket orders and billionaire aspirations are still in the cards. I don't know about being a billionaire, but... Oh, maybe I should consider taking out another loan. No! Way, I can rapidly improve the lens production process, be the first to market, and prepare to battle for dominance in the camera industry. You know, I've always wondered, why, people, why do people always, like, keep taking out loans when they know they can't pay it back in, like, a reasonable time? Like, is that something that people actually do? Is just take out a shit ton of loans in order to, like, buy shit that they can't pay back? for a minute just take it one step at a time and see how it goes there's no sense in putting all your eggs in one basket before things are even off the ground slow and steady wins the race mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and i can probably speak to some people i know and license my image recognition device to a workshop to raise some funds i can't believe i didn't think of this sooner there's no time to lose i need to get to work early bird gets the worm we made a mistake uh, can you believe her she just I'm pretty sure our advice went in one ear and out the other. It's understandable. 
when inspiration and passion strike at the same time, it's all too easy to throw yourself headfirst into your work and forget We've about everyone around mistake. you. A lot of journalists are the same way when they're first starting out. Mm. A loan you actually have is for housing? That makes more sense. I mean, that makes sense. Like, getting a loan for a house. That makes more sense. But, like, loans for other shit? Like, uh, investing into a business? Like, even investing into a business with a loan is, like, kind of sketchy for me. But don't you worry. I'm gonna write an article on all this, and I'll be checking in on her regularly. Her research has the potential to benefit the entire journalistic community. I'll give her plenty of input to stop her from going down any rabbit holes and make sure mass production of her lens can begin as soon as possible. It's reassuring to know that you'll be looking out for her, Charlotte. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Why don't you two take this prototype lens? I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it on your travels. Sure. It takes the right person to get the most out of a new technology. In your hands, it's sure to capture some amazing sights. Thanks a lot, Charlotte. No bonus, no biggie. This makes everything worth it. You're welcome. I got something out of this, too. The beginnings of a very interesting news story. The boundaries between real news reports and news like fiction must not be blurred, even when there's a compelling justification for doing so. Yes, that's how I'll phrase it to the editors when I give them my feedback. Let's hope we don't mislead any more well-meaning citizens in the future. Nice. And I, I got stuck in this event too, man. What the fuck? I can't just do my event that I'm supposed to be doing, bruh. Uh, wait, can I restart this one? Wait, maybe I can actually restart this one. Dude, it wants me to do every single thing besides the event I want to do. Business is a high risk loan. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, if you want to follow your dreams of owning a business one day, go ahead and do that. But like taking out a big loan for it when it's just like such a gamble, especially in the first few years of having a business is like so risky. Like the first like Everybody says like the first for you the first few years of having a business is like a gigantic gamble. Because you're you're just barely trying to break even for like the first year or two. And you're just burning money. The quests are all in one place. I saw this. They're all they're all in one place. It's crazy. See. Please don't, please don't force me to be in the, please. Ah, come on, man. That thing which floated off ahead, was that a fungus? Have fungi invaded Fontaine? Let's go check it out. Okay, never mind. It was like three lines. Thank you. Thank God. I'm pretty sure that's the bongo head event, but I'm not doing that yet. Go over here. Oh, sugar pixie. <clears throat> if a loan is long term, some people think it's all right because they can pay for it little by little. Then they need to re loan, but can't do it because of a pending loan. They start a no loan to pay the pending loan so they can loan again. So they end up having a huge debt. That shit is like so. <laughs> That's literally just a lifetime of debt right there. That is not worth. I mean, maybe for following your dreams it could be worth, but like, bored. Hmm, that can't be right. Oh, but what if they're real after all? No, that can't be. Mm, but what if there's a chance? Greetings, miss. Is there something that's bothering you? Oh. No, it's nothing. I'm Della Roche, the representative of the Fontaine Fishing Association. Wait. How can I help you? Wait, this is the this is the voice actor for the Melusine. <laughs> the wh what's her name? What's the Melusine's uh name that works in uh that works next to uh Nuvulet's office? Sadine, yeah. I recognize her voice. Uh we received your commission request. Oh, so you're a 
adventurers. Oh, finally. Someone has heard my prayers. Paimon could tell you were really bothered by something. Don't worry. You've got two super experienced adventurers right here. We'll take care of anything and everything for you as long as you pay us a little bit of mora. Still can't believe she used to voice Jimmy Neutron? Wait, the voice actor for Sadine? Wait, really? Really? <laughs> Jimmy Neutron. No way. Wait, hold on. Let me see. I don't know, I don't know how I'm supposed to be able to find it. Is that actually true? We got a Jimmy Neutron voice actor in this? No way. God, wait, she is. <laughs> oh, wait, she also voices. Wait, she also voices Tubby. Wait, what? What the fuck? I didn't even hear that. I didn't even realize. What the hell? Wait, that's crazy. Oh, you are exactly the helpers I need. See, the problem is that the fish around a fishing spot at Arrhenius have just all up and vanished recently. Yeah, teapot tubby. Tubby from the teapot. That's crazy. Uh, they disappeared too quickly for it to have been the work of human anglers. As the representative of the fishing association, I had planned to go and investigate the area right away. What? <clears throat> Right, but unfortunately, as the representative of the Fishing Association, there are a few other errands that I absolutely have to run, so... Did I max my level, my uh, fountain level? No, I haven't. I haven't even explored anything of Fontaine. I've been busy playing... I've been busy playing a lot of Lethal Company recently, so I haven't been able to, like, stream. So, so you'd like us to investigate the spot for you? Exactly. You're right on the Mora. So I thought I could delegate this work to you. Are you two some kind of prophets, knowing exactly what I was going to say like that? Or maybe like the oracles you read about in fairy tales? Nope. We already told you that we're adventurers. Yeah, we're just really experienced in this kind of thing. That's all. Yup. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. I'll get a good night's sleep knowing the two of you are on the case. But don't we just need to investigate the missing fish? It really doesn't sound too difficult. No, you mustn't let your guard down. As the representative of the Fishing Association, I have good reason to believe that the fish have gone missing due to an encounter with the water imps. What's a water imp? Yes, you're both outlanders, right? Our local fairy tales often speak of a terrifying underwater creature called Velxi. The story our parents would tell us was always the same. If we went to the water alone, then we'd be snatched away and eaten by a water imp called Thuxy. Oh. A child eating water imp? Did they tell you what it looked like? That's crazy. That's crazy if you live in this kind of universe that these kind of fairy tales could actually be true. <laughs> thank God I li thank God we live in this world where fairy tales or monsters don't actually exist like that. <laughs> My father would always describe it as a beautiful, multicolored snake woman, while my mother said it had a handsome face. It's really strange, though, because you'd also hear other people describe it as just a chubby penguin with a deceptive appearance. Even though the tales vary regarding its appearance, everyone agrees that it's really dangerous. It lives in an underwater cave surrounded by pallid bones and uses its sensitive nose to track down lonely children who've lost their way. And once it finds a child, it uses its alluring singing voice to lure them into the water before swallowing them all. Pretty terrifying, isn't it? You sure this isn't a mermaid? Uh, sounds kind of scary. It sounds like a mermaid. But isn't that pretty normal for a fairy tale? After all, those kinds of stories are usually made up to help keep children away from danger. But what if the fairy tale was inspired by a real-life tale? 
Just like how a water vein always has a source. Okay, what about evidence, though? Well, I wouldn't call it evidence, per se, but I've heard some rumors lately. They say that someone recently saw a child walk into the water as if he was possessed by something. Doesn't that sound just like he was responding to the call of a water imp? Did they save the child? So you mean someone really got eaten by a water imp? It's all hearsay, so it's hard to confirm. But still, they all say this happened on Irenaeus. That's no laughing matter if you ask me. Both the Opera House and the Fountain of Lucene were built there, and the sources of many water veins can be traced to the island as well. Combine that with the mysterious mist, the huge tree with expansive underground roots, and the rumor that the fish ships on the island can understand human language. Is it really so shocking that an island so shrouded in mystery could harbor a terrifying water imp as well? Hmm, she might not be wrong about that. Oh, uh, why does Paimon feel like you're pulling our leg? You're just piling on the rumors now. Still, if someone's really been hurt, then we can't just ignore the situation, right, Traveler? I'll check it out. Oh, marvelous. Then I'll just mark the stretch of water on your map. Don't forget that no matter what, safety always comes first. I mean, if we're to be realistic in terms of, say, that realism, if visions can appear out of thin air and dragons exist in this universe, and people can come from beyond the stars, like the Traveler, then there could definitely be a water imp that exists. Um, let's swim. They mentioned in Genshin they have lemons, but we haven't seen any lemons. Curious. True. See how much I haven't explored yet? I haven't even explored this area. I just have not been exploring at all. Because I've been doing, doing other stuff. Oh, by the way, do you guys like the camera? I don't know if it looks that much different from like my webcam. It probably does. The lighting's a little bit better. You know, I don't have much lighting like around here, but... Yeah, I changed the uh, I changed the camera, so I have like an actual like camera. It's a Sony A six four A six four hundred six thousand four hundred. Oh, so you can see me in Ultra HD. I kind of want to try, um, like, since I've been thinking about cutting my hair, uh, next year, next month, technically, um, I was thinking, like, I should just, like, use my webcam from now on, just to, like, document my hair. Because I know for a fact, once I cut my hair, I'm going to be looking, I'm going to, like, try and scour for pictures. Of like how my hair used to look like. I think having video evidence of what my hair used to look like is good to have. Did you go fight the crab if I haven't already? What crab? I've already fought I've already fought that one. All these <sighs> got them all. <sighs> it's a mini boss with a lot of HP. I haven't, I don't know, or what boss that is. I've never seen that. Sick. I have 42 Hydroculus. Should I feed them to this? 
What if I just save them up until I get all of them? My saving could never be you. It's more of a fear. An irrational fear of spending stuff and feeling like you'll never be able to get it back. Thank you. I'm just skipping all the exploration in this just to get to the quest. <laughs> Get my ears pierced i've had these piercings for like well i got my first piercing um back when i first got in when i first entered like college for like one like one semester um that was like when i was like 18 19 i'm pretty sure and then i got the rest of them pierced like over time throughout the next like year or two um, it didn't really hurt though, personally. I mean, well, it kind of did. It, it, it hurts for like a quick second, but after that, it feels fine. After that, it's just like a quick pain that goes away like almost immediately. If your piercer is doing it right. You're scared of needles, but you want to get some piercings? Well, it's easier said than done, but you gotta face your fear. It looks really peaceful. Huh? Look, there's some footprints over there. You could also get like clip-ons, I'm pretty sure. They're not the same, but it can help. These look pretty fresh. <gasps> Did the water imp get someone again? Let's look around and see if we can find anything else. <gasps> Wait! Did you hear something just now? Why did that sound like a... That sounded like a bongo head. Gurgling noises can be heard. Noises grow louder and louder until something emerges with a loud splash. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi for every day. Traveler? That's good. Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot I was still wearing this. I wish he could wear that more often. Fremine! Paimon, are you okay? <sighs> Paimon nearly mistook you for a water imp. Thank goodness it was just you wearing your helmet. Huh? A water imp? We're investigating a water imp called... Fe Felxy? I'm, I forgot how to say it again. Felxy, you say? Oh, I said it right. How surprising. Huh? You know that name too? Or do you know someone else is trying to investigate the water imp? No. I think our situations are probably unrelated. And what's going on with you? Sure, if that's in order. I know the name because of one of my employers. She noticed the clockwork penguins I brought to the workshop and contacted me through the shop's owner. She has commissioned me to make a special toy. Following her request, I've named the toy Thelxy. Oh. Huh? But isn't it a 
little creepy to name a toy after a water imp? Uh, wait, hold on! Fremenet, you never take commissions from other people! Yeah, but, uh... She made a special request, but out of respect for her privacy, I can't really talk about it. It's alright, though. She'll be coming over to check on my progress shortly, and I'll just tell her that you're two of my trustworthy companions. Hearing that, she might be willing to share some information, and you'll be able to continue with your investigation. Huh. Even though you seem a little cold and reserved sometimes, you're still really considerate. Our target isn't necessarily the water imp, though. We're primarily here to investigate the disappearance of the fish! The fish? Somehow I can I can already see what's going on here. Renee nods slightly and seems lost in thought after you tell him about the commission from the fishing association. Suddenly his breath catches in his throat. Ah, uh, I think I may have connected the dots. These past few weeks, I've been taking Thelxy for underwater testing every day. The pressure testing makes a lot of noise. So, all that about the disappearing fish? Well, it was probably because of me. <laughs> makes sense, yeah. <clears throat> so that actually makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Wait, so could that mean the child we heard about who walked into the water was also... Just Fremine preparing for another day of work? Yes, I think that's quite likely as well. Whew. So in the end, it was just Fremine. Paimon spent all this time imagining what a water imp from the fairy tales might look like, and it all turns out to be just a hoax. I'm sorry. It sounds like I've created a lot of trouble for everyone else as well. I'll try to finish this commission as soon as possible. Fake Once news. I'm done, the fish should come back. Fake news. Um, don't worry about it. It's just a misunderstanding. Thank you. Actually, how much work do you still have left, Remine? Maybe we could lend you a hand. Ah, uh, thanks for offering. But I can't trouble you any more than I already have. It's no trouble at all! Didn't you just call us your trustworthy companions? Companions are all about helping each other, you know? But... Don't you need to report back to your commissioner? Nope, that's not how it works! See, Paimon's got these commissioner types all figured out. Even though we were just tasked with finding out why the fish had gone missing. If we tell them now that it was all just a misunderstanding, you can bet they'd just immediately hand us another commission to help them get the fish back. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're just really experienced in this kind of thing, that's all. Exactly! So if we can help you finish up your work and get the fish back, that would save us an extra trip! I'm on the hustler, for real. Um, is that what you'd like to do as well? Yeah, I think she's right. Huh. All right. I'll trust your judgment. Please follow me. I've made a makeshift camp over there. She getting that bread? She gotta make that money somehow. I've stored Thelxy in the tent. He can respond to some simple verbal commands. You can try calling his name and see if he'll come over. Whoa, sounds pretty advanced. Let Paimon give it a try. Hey, Thelxy! Uh, are you there? Aw. Hello, Doxy. <laughs> Wait, is it speaking in Morse code? Somebody translated that. So that's from an ace version of Thelxy. Somebody's probably Not translated that already. Just like Pear. Yep. Had Thelxy lived in Penguin Town, he'd probably have become great friends with Pear. Mm. Where's Penguin Town? Uh, it's not really anywhere famous or important. Don't worry about it. Hey, Thelxy. Nice to meet you. Do you know how to say hello? Um. So, can Thelxy talk? Only in Morse code, I guess. I want to know what Thelxy says. I don't know. Maybe. It had been mentioned a few times that Pama would make a great economic worker. That is true. She is very obsessed with money. And you don't really get obsessed. I feel like people who are obsessed with money are probably very good at trying to make money. I wanted to install a language output module. 
but due to time constraints, I had to give up on the idea. As it stands, Thelxy can only output messages that were pre-written into its motherboard. I haven't given him the ability to convert those messages into discernible words, so he can't really talk to us just yet. He speaks French in Morse code? <laughs> oh, great. Uh, to get so technical, so basically you want us to help you complete and install this language module, right? Uh, no, there's no need. That wasn't one of my employer's requests. It was just something I wanted to try. I have two other things I'd like your help with. The first is to do some integration testing on Thelxy's motherboard, to make sure he will be able to function properly in most situations. That doesn't sound too hard. And what's the other thing? The other shouldn't take too long either. You'll need to find Thelxy some colorful shells and coral, so I can craft a weapon for him. Ooh, okay. A weapon? Will Thelxy have to fight? Mm-hmm. Thelxy will need to be able to charge forward with a weapon in hand. Like that brave prince of legend. It's a part of my employer's request. Just imagine this cute-ass penguin robot coming at you with a weapon. What an imaginative employer! Naming Thelxy after a water imp, but wanting him to look like a prince? Well, regardless of his role or species, Thelxy's purpose is the same. Just like Pear, he has come to this world to serve as somebody's companion. Mm-hmm. First time visiting the stream? Hello, Akisodo. That's a lot of words. Whoa, Thelxy just said something again! Could he understand what we were just talking about? He can react to certain key words, but unfortunately, due to the lack of a translation module, he still can't quite communicate with us. That's a pity. But anyway, the most important thing right now is for us to get to work. Maybe let's start by doing some testing on the... motherboard. That sounds like something we can do here in the camp. Sounds good. The motherboard is on my workbench, so... Please follow me. Do we even know how technology works? Is the traveler just that smart naturally that we can just work on electronics uh, like that? Here we go. I have this testing manual, so feel free to reference it if you get stuck. Bro's got like a master's degree in computer science, a black belt in like fucking Taekwondo or some shit, a master swordsman. Like, dude can do anything. Want to oh, and give it a also try? a good business. It's okay if you don't succeed immediately. Bro's well, got a I've master's got a in business. Boards just in case. I'll give it a try. Okay. Knowing you, I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out. Travis could just do anything. Okay. A what? Right click to Okay. B. Um. Oh. Nice. We did it. Huh. <sighs> You're doing well. Just as I expected. We've taken on a lot of similar tasks before, you know. Then let's move on to the underwater part. It's just as I mentioned earlier. We're after colorful shells and coral. Oh, speaking of which, you're both already oh pretty God. used to Fontaine's underwater environment, right? <laughs> not, not this soundtrack again. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so sick of this soundtrack every time there's a sad scene. It's like they use this it, they use this one soundtrack for every single emotional scene they have. Okay, that's good. Just let me know if you ever feel uncomfortable. I'll make sure to stay right by your side. Like I didn't say this during the Archon quest, but th every time they use this scene when we were in Poisson, I was just like, "Oh no." Not again.
Remember that according to the Inazuma Commission, Traveler is also good with the bow? Yeah, that's true. Good with the bow, good with the sword, good with computers, good with, uh... I don't know, talking? Actually, maybe, maybe not. Good with business. It should be right over there. We'll be able to find something that'll help us with our search. Yeah, cooking as well. Yet he could do all this? This is it. We call this thing an echoing conch. It can detect special reflection waves in the water to help us with all kinds of underwater exploration and excavation efforts. Here, try it. He could do all this, but he can't still find his sibling. Did you notice any interesting places? The echoing conch should have detected some just now. Let's go check them out. Got all these skill sets in and still can't find our sister after like three years. Oh, which reminds me, I hope during the uh, live stream, I hope the, uh, this live stream uh, includes a Dainsley quest. A live stream is supposed to be like a few days right. from now, right? These should be enough. Let's head back to camp. Uh, thank you for staying out here with me all this time. Heal. <clears throat> Hello, Hep. I think the travel is looking for them anymore. I, I think they might still be looking for them. It's just that we we get so distracted with everything. Actually, I saw a good point on Twitter, like, uh, a few days ago, um, about, like, the Traveler and his, like, the Traveler and their story, like, their character hasn't, I mean, I don't know if it's, like, a good point, but, like, it's definitely something that's worth bringing up, like, like, I've been kind of wondering, like, where, where they're going to be going with the Traveler's story, because it's kind of... It feels like we're learning everything. We're learning everything about everyone else around us besides the traveler. Like it's been three years, and we barely know anything about the traveler themselves. Hi. Ah, Fremine, you're back. I thought you might have been out diving. I'm sorry, Madame Destray. I must have kept you waiting. I can report, though, that the construction of Thelxi is going quite smoothly. There's no rush. I'm your employer, not your supervisor. And these two are? Oh, uh, they're two of my trustworthy companions. They're here to help me work on Thelxi. Yes, I see. I suppose it's only natural for someone responsible like you to have some reliable friends. It's really nice to meet you, Madame Distre. Are you Fremenay's employer? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler. Greetings, my new friends. Just call me Zuria. You are both so adorable. The sight of you reminds me of little fairies under a cottage roof. <coughs> oh, do you really think so? Do I look like a fairy? Of course. If my child had friends like you, then perhaps he wouldn't have become so obsessed with the tales of water imps. And I wouldn't have had to trouble Fremine here with this commission. Obsessed with the tales of water imps? Ah, oh, so you don't know anything about my request yet? I would have thought Fremine had explained it to you already. No. Well, Fremine told us that it was a private matter, so he didn't want to just share it willy-nilly. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> the event, the live stream is on the 8th. Dude, the freaking Game Awards is on the 8th, too. That's gonna be such a busy day. Shit, man. Oh, and I also have a sponsor coming up, too. Right. I see. So, Monsieur Fremenet is even more discreet than I had thought. Hmm. As you are assisting him with the project, I believe it'll be beneficial for you to learn more about its vision and history. 
But it would be quite impolite of me to simply pile all of my troubles on you without your permission. It's on the seventh? So shit. Would you like to listen to my story? Sure, you can tell us anything. You've already said nice things about us, so we'll try our best to help you get through your troubles. Ah, what a lovely little fairy. Then let me think of a way to put my situation into words. Hmm. I'm sure you're already familiar with the tale of the water imps, right? Simply put, parents came up with a story. Painting water imps as scary abductors in an effort to convince their children to stay away from the water. My child is rather special, however. While most other children are terrified of Thelxi, he's infatuated with him. In... infatuated? With a water imp? What a brave soul. Yes. He told me that he thought the water imp might have just been misunderstood. In his mind, instead of singing to abduct children, the water imp actually sang out of a longing for companionship. As a result, he often goes near the water in secret. Huh. So he wanted to become friends with the water imp so it wouldn't be lonely any longer? What a unique way of thinking. <laughs> Thank you, little Paimon. He indeed has always stood out from the crowd. He was actually diagnosed with loneliness syndrome when he was only eight years old. Loneliness syndrome? <laughs> um, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a type of mental disorder. Those affected by it often feel extremely lonely and lose interest in many mundane activities. Oh. The syndrome is probably what made him so determined to become friends with the water imp. You mean depression? <laughs> um, I... Okay. Oh no. Is it a very serious disorder? <clears throat> if you were to become afflicted with the disorder, Paimon, you would only be able to say less than a fraction of the words you're saying to the traveler now. Depression in nice words? Yeah. Depression, but... Depression, but you're on TikTok and you're not allowed to say the word depression. No! Paimon won't accept that! We would have to find a doctor to help cure Paimon! Paimon has a 2,000 word quota for daily conversations with the traveler and she won't settle for a single word less! Oh god. The family doctor has already begun to treat my son. But since the disorder is rare, there aren't many good regimens for treatment. He's also developed some new symptoms lately. Such as uncontrollable delusions. Wait, so depression is rare in Tevat? Huh. Interesting. Huh? Uncontrollable what now? Uncontrollable delusions. To put it simply, he can no longer differentiate between fantasy and reality. And spends all his time in his fantasy world. Oh, that's pretty bad. Then... Then what is he seeing in his fantasy world? It's a dream that he often mentioned to me when he was younger. I've compiled what I could understand of his recent rambling. It goes a bit like this. Once upon a time, there was a splendid and magnificent underwater kingdom of water imps in the Salacia Plain, 500 feet beneath the surface. Countless lovely water imps lived in houses made of rainbow shells and corals, tending to the sea animals during the day and singing between fields of golden tidalga during the night. <clears throat> Everyone led carefree and blessed lives until the day of the Iridescence Parade, the important festival during which the new king would be crowned. Before the festival, all water imps would select the most precious pearl they owned, wrap it in a golden branches and leaves, and offer it to their most beloved prince. And during the day of the parade, the prince would cross a rainbow bridge made from all the offered shells and accept a crown from his father amid the applause of his subjects. Finally, the new king would bless everyone with his well wishes. As for the prince's name, it's none other than Thalxi. Amazing! Your son came up with all of this? He really crafted a lovely fairy tale world for Thalxi. It's like a beautiful dream. He should be a writer. But perhaps no beautiful dream can ever last long. You see, the story ended with a twist. The day of the Iridescence Parade <clears throat> came as expected, but countless monsters also arrived alongside the prince. 
The monsters were evil and cruel, and they struck fear into all the water imps' hearts. The water imps, adept at singing as they were, could not defend themselves against the monsters. So the kingdom fell, the king was killed, and the water imps were locked behind bars. The rainbow bridge lost its color and crumbled away. The prince was barely able to escape with the help of a mysterious maxed individual, but he had already lost everything and could only spend his days singing mournful songs. And just as the prince sang out of loneliness, so could his song only be heard by similarly lonely children. How could the story end like this? Is that kind of fantasizing what caused your son to develop his loneliness syndrome? Well, it'd be more accurate to say that it was the syndrome that caused such terrible delusions to manifest. But in any case, the biggest problem is the patient eventually loses themselves to the fantasy world of their own creation. What do you mean? My poor child can no longer differentiate between imagination and reality. He's begun to see himself as Thelxy. Oh. Um. Perhaps in his mind, the loneliness he felt became the same as that of a prince who lost mm. everything he ever loved or stood for. Mm. What? So that's what you meant by uncontrollable delusions. Then we have to help him snap out of it! Well, I think it's a little more complicated than that, Parmon. Alas, most of the time he acts as if he can no longer sense or interact with the real world at all. I've had several discussions with the doctor, and we think it is best to try to guide his fantasy. Guide his fantasy? He once wanted to make a picture book of his imaginary world, but since the disorder progressed too quickly, he never quite got past the first page of the book. If we could use this book as a breakthrough for his condition... Here, you can take a look. So Zuri's son also saw Felxy as a penguin. Oh, he looks so sad. What we should do now is help him complete this picture book. However, we'll lead the story to a different ending. One where the water imprint is eventually able to restore his kingdom with the help of his friends. We'll need to chase away his loneliness and sorrow and let him perceive a world full of hope again. That's what I mean by guiding his fantasy. But if we just need to finish the picture book, why does Fremenay need to make a Thelxy as well? Um, realism? Because we need to treat the book's story seriously, as if it's a history of things that have really happened. We'll need to go on a journey like Thelxy and help him regain his crown and country. But my child can no longer go on a journey of his own. This is why I commissioned Fremenay here to craft a Thelxy. And then I'll paint the journey with this Thelxy into the picture book. Ah, like a stand-in for your son! Paimon's starting to get it now! Oh, you really put a lot of thought into this, Zuria. Um, Paimon still has one question, though. Where will we be able to find a Water Imp Kingdom? There are some ruins on the seabed of the Salacia Plains. I've already asked Fremenay to research them for me. We'll be able to use one of the ruins as the kingdom. So we'll just need to act out a performance of, uh... Oh, a brave journey through the Kingdom of Water Imps. As long as we chase away the monsters in the ruins, it'll count as chasing away the monsters in the Water Imp Kingdom, right? Sadly, no. We won't just be putting on a performance. It's just as Zuria said. We need to take this seriously. And the only way we can take this seriously is if we choose to believe everything that's happening is real. So we got a role play. Uh, so we'll be playing it straight or, uh, making it a fully immersive experience? Oh, neither of those really sound right. Uh, well, either way, we'll still be able to help, right? I'll try my best. It's all right. There's no need to get that serious. It's not a big deal. I believe in my son. We can just see this as him wanting to stay asleep for a bit longer because he's so enamored with his dream. Zuria. Keep your spirits up, everyone. If we were to look troubled, my son is sure to become anxious as well. Hmm. I should be heading back right about now to check on my son. 
We temporarily moved to a place on the hill over there, so my son will have a better spot to convalesce. It's not far from the water, and there's also a great view. Feel free to come find me if anything urgent comes up. Understood. There's also one last thing. Since these two friends were able to help me out, I've made some more progress on Thelxi. I estimate that he should be ready sometime tomorrow. That's great news. I must thank you all. Hmm. With that in mind, how about we meet here in two days' time to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps? Sounds good. All right, everyone. Let's meet again in another two days. Zuria sure is a brave and optimistic lady. Fremine, do you think her plan will work out? Uh, let's discuss that over by the tent. There were a few things that I didn't bring up because the madame was here. I was wondering, like, what 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 happens if you get depression in Teyvad? Do you just deal with that shit? And then I realized that, like, there's probably no therapy or, like, medicine in Teyvad that can treat depression or any sort of mental illness because it's technically so rare. Like she said. What is it, Fremine? What did you want to say? <clears throat> um, if you don't mind me asking, I would like the two of you to mentally prepare yourselves. Just sleep it off. You just gotta fuck that shit out. Just deal with it, bro. <sighs> this is the first time that you've met anyone with the syndrome, right? I know you two are both really strong and will do everything you can to help the child. But with the syndrome being the way it is, if things don't... You just say, fuck it, we ball. If things don't quite turn out as we wish, I hope you'll be able to accept the outcome and not put too much blame on yourselves. Fremine, why do you bring this up all of a sudden? Didn't we just promise Zuria that we'll be optimistic about everything working out? It's not that I'm not optimistic. It's just... You know this illness really well? Ah, so that's why you looked like you knew exactly what she was talking about. Wait, Fremine, don't tell Paimon that you also... No, no. Please don't misunderstand. I've never had it. I've just... I've just seen many cases of it at the House of the Hearth, hmm. back when we lived under the previous director. Oh, that makes sense. They say there are many factors surrounding the development of this illness. I've heard everything from hereditary factors and one state of mind, to environmental factors and even leyline disorder effects. Some even say it could be caused by contamination from god remains. And from the cases I've seen, there weren't many positive outcomes. In the worst cases, the patient could even... pass away. Wait, contaminations from god remains? Are they talking about... Hmm. What? It could get that serious? And here Paimon thought they just stopped talking as much. <laughs> Yeah, that's just the nature of it. So, if you'll find it difficult to cope with the worst-case scenario, I would prefer that you back out right now. I don't want you to help only to feel like you failed. Don't worry, I've seen all kinds of strange and difficult things in life. Yeah, well, this is depression. Depression is like a whole nother thing. Uh, you've got a point. I'll give it some thought. Hey! Now's not the time to be joking around! <sighs> Don't worry, Fremine. No matter how hard it what? might get, we'll be able to handle it. What? You, you you think I was joking about that? That's not something that you just like that you just like willy nilly say like, oh yeah, sure, I can handle this depression, no problem. I'll, I'll fucking deal with it myself. Ah, don't worry, bro. That's the I, <laughs> depression is like one of the hardest mental illnesses to take care of, bro. What? Really? <sighs> then in that case. Let's see this real-life fantasy adventure together to the end. Yeah! Uh, but Paimon has a question. If this illness can really be as bad as you've described, then do you really think Zuria's method will be able to help? 
After all, we'll just be using a toy as Delxi and some ruins as the Kingdom of Water Imps. The whole adventure will only be turned into a picture book for her son to read. Well, I think it should be able to do something. To harbor a fantasy means that the child wants to save himself somehow. The only reason he's allowed his dream kingdom to fall is because he's lost control of his heart. But if we can help him regain control and escape from the darkness, we'll be able to change his world. Like helping someone who's lost their voice be able to speak again. Mm -hmm. Oh, Paimon <clears throat> sees what you're saying now. Huh. How do you understand all of this so well, Fremine? Fremine's secret therapist? Hmm. Well, maybe because I have also had many of my own dreams in the past. I even had my own fairy tale world, much like that boy's. I was able to draw a lot of support from it. So I believe in the power of fantasy worlds. So the penguin town you mentioned was... <sighs> so you remembered. What penguin town? Why does a Paimon remember? Is that also a fairy tale world? Don't leave Paimon in the dark! Suddenly, Fremine pulls out a diving helmet and puts it on his head. Hey, why did you put that on? <clears throat> it's just... one of my personal quirks. Please pay it no mind. This helmet is so big compared to his body, it looks like a bobblehead. <laughs> anyway, Penguin Town is a peaceful place with lots of penguin residents. They're all really good at making clockwork toys. And Pear is the town's triumphant hero, as well as the one who quietly protects the whole place. Pear? But didn't you make Pear yourself? Well, I often think that Pear only came to me because he realized how much I needed him. So it's not so much that I made Pear, as Pear chose me as his friend. Are you sure you're not losing control of your fantasies as well? I'm lost. No, I don't think so. I can still differentiate between fantasy and reality. I just believe that the fairy tale world of my dreams must also exist somewhere. It might just be hidden, which is why it's difficult to see. Or it will only reveal itself at very specific times. Specific times? Like when you put on your diving helmet? Yeah. That's the general idea of it. Oh. Really? Pyra just said that because you put on your helmet. Have you ever observed the surface world from underwater? It's as if you're viewing a whole different world from the outside. It's a very surreal feeling. Both alienating, but also as if you're being protected by something. Thank you, Wes Mason, for the gift sub. Thank you. I have a similar feeling when I put on my diving helmet. In those moments, it's possible to see some truly wondrous things, as if a fairy tale has become reality. It's almost like a sort of miracle. Really? Like a miracle? Now I want to try your helmet on too. Sorry, not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to make Traveler wear anything besides like flower crowns. Well, if that's an order. I'm just kidding. Uh, that's an order. Hey, now's not the time! Remini still has Delcy's weapon to make. We don't want to bother him now. Right. I Never still allowed. have to collect some tools I'll need to craft the weapon. I've got to finish everything before tomorrow. Thank you for reminding me, Paimon. I'm sure there'll be other opportunities for you to try my helmet. No, there will never be any opportunities. Thanks for all of your help. I'll be off for now. Let's meet up here again in two days. That's part one. Oh, art. They're getting a lot better with the uh, the UI art for these events. I've noticed. Yeah. 
Decoupling process features broken circuits. Broken circuits will immediately connect when the signal passes through an inductive switch of the corresponding color. Um. Um. Oh. Okay. Go away. Oh, it has to be like this, I see. So, oh wait. Bad. Oh. Wait, so you have to do it of the same color? But, oh. Next challenge. There could be up to two different circuits involved in one debugging process. Circuit starting points and endpoints will have the same color. This feels like a cool it's like this feels like a game I would play on cool math games. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna just do like actually how many are there? I'm gonna just do three. Check. Cause every all of the missions should be available, right? <laughs> Wait. Oh this one needs to go. This one needs to go first. This one needs to take longer to get there. There you go. Easy. Oh wait, I didn't go back. After the debugging process has gone on for a while, gone on for a while, you could use the debug manual to obtain clues about how to set the circuit up. Oh, wait. wait. Beanie's fire. Thank you. Ar Arcteryx. Arcteryx. So maybe, maybe I could do all of it, actually. I think I could do all of it. But um bum Actually, no, you can't do this. Be like this. Yep. Boom, 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 boom. 
When a signal passes through an inductive switch of a specific color, the branching path connecting connection direction will change. You can repeatedly activate such inductive switches this way. Okay. So this will pass through here, it'll press it. This one has to go. Let me just try this first. Oh, you don't even have to like... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It'll keep going still. It would just be stuck. Let's see, you would never you would never guess this is what I look like. Not in a million years. Yeah, I get that a lot. I get that a lot. Maybe, okay, you have to go here first, because it'll step on this one, and it'll make this one switch to that, so then you, this. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, fuck! No! Wait, okay, hold on, it needs to be delayed, it needs to be delayed. You need to be delayed, that's why. Actually, wait, no, 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 no. This one needs to be delayed. There we go. Nice. Same time. Oh, I see how this needs to work. Okay, one of them has to take a. Wait, let me see first. How does this work? Oh. We can't step on them at the same time. But it still doesn't... Oh, fuck. No! <laughs> okay, hold on. What if... There we go. Now we got it. This really does feel like a cool math game. It really does. Is this how Genshin is trying to make the youth smarter? <laughs> I think this thing needs to be delayed slightly. Yeah, this needs to be delayed. Okay. No! You pressed it too early. Fuck. Okay, maybe we had to delay, delay it a little bit longer. Yeah, 
Yeah! There we go. Is that it? Wait, that's all of them? No way. Oh, I was actually kind of having fun with that. Well, maybe, maybe someday I need to, like, play Block Wars again. Actually, you know what game will truly expand your brain? Balloons Tower Defense. Now that is peak. That is peak strategy. Because that game gets hard as hell in the later stages. If okay, we do that after this, the second uh, part. All right, wait two days later. Oh yeah, if you're also in, you didn't, I got uh, Risley's. I got Risley uh, friendship to level ten recently. I got to his friendship level 10 a lot faster than I usually would because I used, um, I did, I basically started doing my dailies. Well, not really my dailies, but like, uh, I started spending my resin, doing my resin domains in co-op instead of, uh, just by myself. Because apparently co-op gives you a lot more XP every time you do them. I don't have anybody to do the dailies with, so I kind of miss out on that friendship XP. <clears throat> boom, boom, boom. I see myself in Risley's, Risley's drip. I wear a lot of black, yeah. I have a lot of black and red in my uh, wardrobe. <sighs> Is your child feeling any better? Thank you for your concern, Fremine. His condition is fairly stable. I could probably the wear The family it. doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. But it might... I think black looks a little better with, um... Darker hair. Like black and red. Zuria, Fremine, we're here! <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. <coughs> hey, Doxy! <laughs> Aww, look at his sword and spear. He's so cute. Oh, Doxy's got himself a sword and a shield now. He's looking sharp. Indeed. With his weapons in hand, Doxy looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you! Yes, you really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. It's so cute. Speaking of which, Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my hands on. Consider it done. Seems like everything's ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking. Since Thalxy has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? Sure, but I can't draw. Ooh, Paimon's excited now! What should we draw on the page? Hmm... Why don't we use the story we know as a reference? Just make the atmosphere a bit less grim. So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? Sounds great to Paimon! Alright, I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, please tell me what you'd like to see. Let me think. We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the Sword of Courage and the Shield of Perseverance, which proves he has crossed the mire of doubt 
and now is ready to wage war against the darkness. Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimo wants to give him some friends. Felxy's got some friends by his side now, so he's no longer fighting alone. Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Ah, uh, the sound of that, the, the marker on the page. Ah. Uh, don't forget to add some color. Color. Ah, color, yes. That's really important. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale, but bursting with color and hope. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful. Splendid ideas, everyone. Cool. Great! Everyone looks super pumped up. Felsy most of all. Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? What? Hmm. I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts! Mm-hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Yay! Felsi's fantastic adventures begin now! Am I still gonna post Honkai Star Wars videos? Yeah. Just need to work on them. I'm busy with other stuff though. Like playing Lethal Company every single day. <laughs> I'm trying to get a Lethal Company video out while it's still popular. Look! Those are materials that we can use for the crown, right? Let's get some for Fremine. Lethal Company is so addicting, it really is. Like, I want to get good at Lethal Company. These should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps. Buh. I want to get good at Lethal Company. Like, I want to be able to survive by my own in Lethal Company. Because, like, I don't know which Loda I should be carrying with me. Whoa. Is that the entrance to the underwater ruins ahead? I feel like the shovel is, like, the best weapon, the best tool you could have on you at any time. But it makes you so heavy that, like, that, like you can't really bring, um... Oh, shit. Okay. But, like, it's also... Like, you can't bring um, anything else if you have a shovel because it makes you super heavy. Cool. Use a fiscal. Rosaria. For it just adds extra 22 pounds. Yeah. But it's so useful, especially if you're like playing in the harder areas. Like Rend or Titan. Actually, no, you don't probably don't even need it on Rend, because there's no like ledges you could stand on. So these are the Besides underwater the ruins that Fremini found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. This is the King of Water Imps, Paimon, not ruins. Oh, yeah, Paimon knows. It's just... <sighs> Paimon thought we'd actually see a fairy tale world. Like with 
the water imp's colorful houses. Come on, Paimon. We're role playing here. You're ruining the immersion. I'm sorry. I was hoping to put up some decorations, but ran out of time to do it by myself. It's okay. It's fantasy time now. Whoa, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Scariest monster is the coil head for you. Coil head isn't that bad. It's if you if it's a if it catches you by surprise, it's kind of scary, yeah. Actually, no, coil head plus bracken is pretty bad. <laughs> coil head plus, plus bracken is definitely the scariest combo. That's when coil head gets scary. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. You should do your best too, Paimon. Uh, don't underestimate Paimon. Paimon can flip the switch too. Now entering Paimon Fantasy Mode! Ahem. Young adventurers, tis Paimon, guardian goddess of this land. State your goals and intentions for visiting this nation. Uh... We are the companions of Prince Thalxi, your Divine Highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Which is it that the prince has lost? <laughs> huh? <sighs> Do you break character, Paimon? Is the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. As such, you are worthy of everyone's respect. Okay. So please accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will now bestow all three types of glory upon you. Foreshadowing? And she did kind of switch into like a very interesting character very quickly. And as for this prince, the goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory, so your future will always be filled with light. I think it's confused. My gratitude to your divine highness for such generous blessings. Power is now surging through every part of my body. Uh, me... Me too. Is this the divine inspiration of legend? All thanks to the power of Goddess Paimon. <laughs> Ahem. Now, adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. You will be sure to find that which you seek. Use Prince Delxi's water imp. Water imp. Chanson to defeat opponents more easily. After using the skill, Ducty must charge up before being able to use it again. Okay. Please be careful, brave adventurers. Just let us easy enemies that have invaded the kingdom of water in their cause. Uh, Healy Churls of the Deep. <laughs> oh god, bye bye. As you wish, me, Foylight. Wait, oh, they give you free Fremine. I haven't u Those ever used Fremine. I'm not gonna lie, I completely forgot how to use Fremine. Crush! Let him frost! More speed. We're under attack again. It's a law of the deep. There's no need to fear, my friends. His Highness is so strong now that even a divinature of the deep would pose no threat to him. How do you fre how do you use Fremine again? Mercy. Oh fuck, I missed. Lights out. Yeah. Vengeance will be mine. Shudder. Hey. Whew, it's finally over. So have we defeated the 
evil monsters and reclaim the kingdom of water imps? Yes. It should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is, I didn't expect this to go so smoothly. I thought it would have taken longer for us to reach the heart of the ruins. It was my mistake. I should have told Fremenae earlier that we would also need a crown. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We just eradicated all the monsters in one go! We? We? It's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the time. And you too, Thalxi, my child. All that Morse code, I don't even understand. E and A's put E and A and E again. Okay. Thalxi's turning out to be a real expert at fighting. I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Yes, I agree as well. Let's head back to camp for now. I asked the Traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thuxi's fantastic adventures as well! Now that we've reclaimed the Kingdom of Water Imps, it's time for us to draw some new scenes in the picture book! He's good at shattering? Oh yeah, that's right. I remember, I remember the leaks when he was coming, when he was, uh, leaks of them, his kit being like a shatter kit or something. Zuria and Fremenate? People were like, no! Shatter? Who fucking uses shatter? <laughs> In the year 2023. You just want to see someone draw Goddess Paimon. Hey, you didn't have to say it out loud. <laughs> no problem, I'm happy to oblige. Then in that case, the story today should go something like this. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxie and his brave companions finally arrived at the entrance to the Kingdom of Water Imps. At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companions. Woohoo! The goddess has arrived! She praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many blessings, and even prayed that the prince would be able to fulfill his goal. Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the pretty water imps from their imprisonment. The prince finally managed to reclaim his kingdom. This is kind of cute. The crown. Kick picture book. Oh no, the crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach, but the monsters took it with them as they fled. They haven't given up and are sure to return, but the prince is certain to reclaim the crown the next time they fight. The brilliant rainbow shall descend onto the kingdom once more. Drawing. Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now. Thelxie's journey is one step closer to its end and the promised coronation. My child, you'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes, right? Bro, I hmm. I want to know who the, what the child looks like. I'm sure he will, Zuria. Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your divine highness. Oh, Fremenay, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time for our final adventure, okay? Sounds good. And see you in two days, my lovely friends. She didn't sing. No, where's her humming? Oh, there it goes. All right, it's about time we start heading off too. You've still got some work to do, right, Fremenae? Yeah, I'll need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. 
I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. You're working really hard for me, eh? Yeah. Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated once you're on the job. Ah, uh, well, about that. It might be because... Uh, because what? What, is he your friend? It's because... I hope... Uh, what's the matter? Why is he blushing? Look at that look on your face. You're turning red. And it looks like you're about to run away and put your helmet on again. <laughs> what's he blushing for? Uh, am I turning red? Don't tease, Fremine. <laughs> alright, alright. We won't bother you anymore for today, Fremine. Let's see each other in two days' time. Okay. Thank you. See you in two days. Okay. Hello, next blue neon. Look up the meaning of the Morse code after you finished. Yeah, I will. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. No. Oh. Okay, swirling vortex pain pain on pain peon? I don't know how to say that. And can wait for the live stream this Friday. Same. Times four. Of course. Prince Stokesy unleashes a Gyre attack once every five seconds, dealing hydro damage to opponents hit. Gyre attack is released. All characters in the party within the area of effect recover HP equivalent to 25% of the character's max HP and gain 300 increased elemental mastery for 15 seconds. Okay. I've never learned how to use Nilu. How do you even use Nilu? I know she can be a very hard hitter, but she's also very niche, is what I hear. How do you use her? Nilu Bloom? Hydro, Hydro, Denjo, Denjo team mainly? Dendro. Okay, well, <laughs> my other Dendro characters are kind of eh. Um, maybe I should go back and get Dendro Traveler. Fuck. Let me go get Dendro Traveler real quick. You only do 3k per minute when you have her. Yeah, I've never learned how to use her properly. This one? No, it's not. Is it? What one is it? Oh, it's this one. Uh, but I want to do this one first, actually. Yeah, let's do this one first. We're doing this one first, and then we'll go do the other one. Either so I don't die for my own blooms. I could use probably a uh, Yao Yao. Alright, that leads to that I've dodged this quest this long. Yeah. I've also been uh, busy playing a lot of Lethal Company.
Nyum. E three times swap to Dendro. Echo and Commons plays, it will display possible iridescent gl glory locations on your minimap and in your field of view, collect the, de the designated number of said glories to complete the challenge. Some materials require xenochromatic font or aberrant abilities to collect. Eddie in. Can Amber's outfit change be considered a new skin? Technically, no. Because if you could, if you consider that as if you, if they consider that as skin, then that kind of means Amber will never get a skin, no. Because on the regions where that where that skin is Amber's only uh, outfit, she'll never get a skin. She'll only have like one one outfit forever, which would suck. <laughs> Yeah, it's more of a redesign than a skin. Ow. Shit. Maybe in the next wind bloom. Maybe when the Ludi Harpastum comes in 2027. When's the last time they teased the Ludi Harpastum? Because the only time I remember them teasing it was during Klee's story quest, and that was released at the very, very start of the game. When is Traveler going to change his crusty ass outfit? Never. Because the devs are too fucking scared for it. Thank you, Bee Boop Steel, for the gifted sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's why. We need Archon skins. Maybe that'll come out at the end of the game or something.
Sorry, little guy. I'm sorry. I didn't want to, but the game made me do it. Alright, I need to- I'm, I'm pretty sure I have to do this for right. They have so many resources to do so much cool stuff, but they refrain. Yeah... I don't know what they're doing over there. I mean, I'm sure there's gonna be more skins coming, but it's probably just gonna be for leeway characters again. Like, for the next Lantern right, it's just gonna be more leeway characters getting skins. As always. Okay, so it's like Hydro, Hydro, Dendro, Dendro. Another test subject. The Temple of Wisdom! Oh, Everyone hold hands! Don't be a kill me, Joy! You've only just begun! Huh? Huh. With all my strength! You say we have to do, like, E three times? I'm definitely not doing it right. Care for the deals. Sharing my knowledge! Don't be scared! Let me leave you a verse. Know my sword. Take the positions. <laughs> Care for a dance? Make yourself a move. Thank you, WT Findy. <laughs> Witness the power of good one. Rain outlines your fate. Know my sword. Ready? Go. Go. Thank you. Let me leave you a verse. Rain outlines your fate. All eyes on me. So we have to do it. You have to use her E three times and then switch to a dendro character and be a good audience, won't be like. You? Oh, this is great, but. Like that. The show's only just begun. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. Oh shit ton of dendritic Kokomi gaming. Drink water. I have water right here. Now you guys can see me drink water. Uh, Hunter's loop. Dealing extra damage to nearby opponents and conferring to the falling buffs. First cooldown is increased by 40 seconds after Thunder's loops have been released. For the next 12 seconds, all characters' attack is increased by 40% and energy recharge is increased by 60% for 8 seconds. Okay, I'm not reading that. Fuck that. Um, the writing so good. Isn't Hyper Bloom, uh, all hate them like one of the strongest teams right now? That's what I've been hearing. I've been hearing a lot about Hyper Bloom, all hate them being insanely broken. It's just funny. Feeble scholar, am I right?
Thank you, West Mason, for the five gifted. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What changed to make him broken? I don't think anything changed. I think just I think Hyper Bloom is just broken by itself. And then all hate them being like, I guess one of the best DPS right now, I think. Or best dendro applicators. Definitely helps a lot. Let me leave you a No my sword. Shadow Raven. Let night. Inazuma shines eternal. There is no escape. Scatter. Although, to be completely honest, I'm not too sure how to use him. Because I know he has, like, a very... A very specific combo that requires... That, like, has to be learned in order to use him. Like, his combos are actually nuts. Let me leave you a first. No, my sword! Here you are. He's good even outside even optimal parties. Feeble scholars. Who could have known? Witness the power of Kuhua. Rain outlines your fate. Odds reveal by illusion shattered. Now you shall perish. You have to remember his mirror uptime? What's his mirror uptime like? Change into him, use burst to get three sigils, normal attack, normal attack, normal attack, and then skill to refresh sigils. Wait, you change? Okay, so you use everybody else, and then you change into him. Use burst to get three sigils, normal attack three times, and then use a skill to refresh the signals. Okay, wait, hold on. Not three times? Okay, wait. So it's like, use everyone else. You get all of your other things. And then, like generally until they go out. Oh, like you, like use your normal attacks until the sigils run out. And then you use his skill to get the sigils back. If you have no leaves, you, his burst gives you full leaves. E gives you two. Charge attack gives you one. Okay. Is this a sign of me pulling for all Haytham? I don't know. I mean, I don't really have like a good like Denjo DPS. I still have not gotten uh, Tignity after so long. Possibly. You used to go when you have one sigil. When you have one sigil, charge attack when you have two. Okay. He just you. You can barely use Kavi because he just overpowers. Let me leave you first. No, my sword. Okay, wait. Let me try it. So. <laughs> So he has three sigils here. There's two. And then he has one. And then you go like that. Okay. Well, that's kind of hard though. Because hmm. you also have to go and use everyone else's burst at the same time as well. That's a lot to keep track of. Holy shit. But it's it's definitely doing wonders though. Let me leave you a burst. Rain out torn to oblivion. She's just, just a good follow-up after all of it. I see. He is doing a shit ton of damage though, I will admit. <laughs> like look at this.
Bro is actually raining down like thunder on them. Holy shit. Like I don't even have to use Thelxy. What the hell? Yeah, I could see why. I could see why he's like one of the best right now. I definitely see it. Because you're constantly proccing those hyper blooms as well. Damn. You're constantly doing damage with all Haytham, and then you're also constantly proccing those hyper blooms. Jesus Christ! Can I show his uh the build they have on him? Let's see what we got on him. They probably they probably have like the worst artifact to put on him. Fifty-seven, ninety-one. Okay, I guess I don't, I don't know what the what the iron sting. I mean, he is Dendro. I have four piece gilded on him. An 888. Does he work with Yunjin? Um, hmm. That's a good question if he works with Yunjin. He does? Really? So he could e do even more damage with his normals. Hmm. You could totally use him to do the max damage ultimate, change, skill, charge attack, then burst, and switch. Huh. So it's like change, skill, charge attack, then burst, and... Oh yeah, I've seen that before, I think. That's why. That's what I used to do. I think. Oh, let me see. By royal decree, there is no escape. Inazuma shines eternal. So it's switch, switch, change, skill, charge, attack, and then burst. Yeah, like that. Witness the power of Gua. Illusion shattered. But I think, uh, I think using his burst just straight up and doing the normals is like way more consistent. Yeah, this is like way more consistent damage. I feel. Yeah, someone on the dev team definitely enjoyed making him. <laughs> You could just tell the dev team definitely enjoyed making him. Here you are. Let me leave you a burst. No, my soul. Huh? Now you shall perish. There is no escape. I wonder how good he gets if you pair him with Yelon. Do you just insta- did you just insta-kill everything if you pair him with Yelon? Witness the power of Gugwa! Rain out- Torn to oblivion! Illusion shattered! Alright, well. Next one. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I've learned how to play, uh, I'll hate them today. Sweet. Oh my god. They just give you a new Ulet. You don't even have to use anybody with you, with new Ulet, right? That's pretty much how people use him nowadays. You you don't even have to use him with anyone. He's just kind of busted on him on his own. <laughs> Wait, let me dual hyper carry. You use Wander. I have Wander in my party. I already have Wander. Wander is pretty good by himself too. 
Like his base, um, like his base damage, even without like swirling anything, is so good. That's close enough. Power your head. And people like do this. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. I wanna like change my hold on. Let me Let me try something real quick. Let me try something. This is gonna be absolutely awful. But um It's aim shot mode, right? They you have to you have to change it for aim shot mode, I'm pretty sure. Err. Uh, uh. The trial build on UV Led is straight up insult against him. What do they put on him? They put no bless on him. Fifty nine, one eighty. Sacrificial Jade, okay. March will say. <laughs> That's close enough. Let the be humble today. Silence. All right, let's see this. <laughs> People do this all the time. That's what I, that's everything I, that's like the one thing I see everyone do when they use Nivule. They just fucking twirl him around. Know your place. Settle down. Hmm. This is so goofy. It's not even good, like. <laughs> Behold. It's great when the enemies are everywhere. Yeah, it's probably better for that. The tides beckon. Silence. Silence. Your coming is foretold. Bow your head. Bow your head. Let the mighty be humble. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say though that I feel like this nucleus should be doing more damage. I don't know uh if the if the build that gave the trial nucleus is that good. Oh god. Silence. Silence. Just look at that HP. Oh yeah, it's like it's it's kind of. Uh. Where do you think you're going? I got a really low score on that one. Here, let me try something. Um. Whoa. I'll put Bennett here. He needs three different hydro reactions to get the max buff. So, like, you need Electro, too. Dendro, Electro, and Anima? So wait, wait, let me bring Venti into here then. Venti, there he is. Dendro, Electro, and Animo. What if? This stage is hard to get a good score in, it seems like it, yeah. That's 
You made it to useless with him? Damn. But one character Bennett is not good with. Crazy. The tide's beckoning. Settle down. That's close enough. The one character Bennett is not good with. They finally did it. Here we go. Think you can get away? Silence. Let the mighty be hot. That might be too far. Yeah, this is too far, but whatever. <laughs> Holy numbers. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Spring forth. Time for takeoff. Let's play. Oh, fuck. The tides beckon. Settle down. Okay, now this is useful. Now that it's useful. Um, excuse me, sir. What are you doing over here? Sir, please die. Goes all the way in the corner. Over here. Scatter! Shadow Raider! Let night fall! Think you can get away? Propagate! Here we go! Odds reveal thyself! No, oh, thank you. It's filthy outsider, huh? Let the mighty be humble. Time for takeoff. What if? Where do you think you're going? Ow! Fuck! All right, five k's. Five k's enough of me. 5k is enough. Ooh, you get Farina here. Nice. Actually, what's that? What was that one team that people were saying that is like the strongest team in Genshin right now? It's like Nuvulet, Farina. Uh, I think it's right in Shogun and Nahida, right? This one is a mega score challenge. This is all current HP. Wait, what if? Buh. Buh. Silence. Hyper Bloom again? Yo, he always know. By Royal Decree. Scatter! Propagate! I got count. Let the world fly! Ow! Ow. Be sanctified. Are you the only one that doesn't like Farina as a playable character? Why not? Wings of darkness. Scatter. Spring forth. Let my name echo in song. Owie. Ow, 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 ow. Alright, let's relax. Let's relax. Hold on. Midnight Phantasmagoria! Time to shine! Ow! Damn! Ow! Let the mighty be humble! Silence! Bro, these robots are so are so knockback resistant, it's crazy. As you wish, main toy line. You don't really like her either? Why? Why does she take P from other characters? <laughs> Another test uh, I don't know. I think that's a fine mechanic for me, personally. 
Be sanctified. Kind of like Kooky. You like a character but not her play style? As you wish, me, toy life. I think she's not. I don't think she's bad. Actually, I, should, I could probably do better on that. I could probably get 10k on this. I gotta, I gotta go faster though. <laughs> Another test subject. Scatter. You think Karina is one of the best characters Hoiverse has ever made? Very base. Very base. Actually, I feel like there's very little. There's very little debate on Purina being one of the best characters in Genshin right now. Like in terms of her her story and lore. As you wish, main Froilein. Let my name echo in song. Please die. Ow. No rest for strike a The tides beckon. Silence. Ow. Relax, man. I'm just trying to kill y'all. Fuck. Wings of darkness. Come. Bow your head. Yeah, they did a really good job with the character. I think everyone can agree that. As you wish, main Definitely has one of the best setups. No, I'm not getting I'm not getting 10k on that. Fuck it. Alright, last one. Give Farina and Risley. Okay, okay, okay. Farina and Risley. Hmm. I remember you kind of need a uh, healer with Risley. Say that like I haven't been using him for like the past two months. <laughs> like I haven't been using him this entire time. Risley is the the reason you finally caved to play the game. <laughs> Good. Show me with this. Let me leave you a verse. Huh? <laughs> Look at you, Queen Bell. Take an egg. Time to shine. Let's begin. <laughs> Come here. Rain cutter. Rain outlines your face. For you is Yvulet. I'm glad that uh, Fontaine is at least bringing a lot of people back, you know? Because that means they're doing something right. Oh, actually, I should have used Dia with him. Fuck, I should have brought Dia in here. I loved using Dia with Risley. Rain outlines your fate. 
Witness the power of gold. Look at you, Boo Down. Time to show. Shower me with pet. Only now. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Can't handle your drink. Let Three different sand updates was interesting. Huh? Yeah, definitely an interesting choice. Let's begin. No, I could have gotten 10. I was 50 off 10k. No. Fuck. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I could definitely redo that, but instead of um Instead of Diona, we bring Dehia in. Hey, wait, hold on. My brain's farting. Um. Yeah. Okay. Put Dehia in last. Oh, wait. No, I brought Trial Rise. I brought Trial Risley. Mine's better. Dihia finally seeing some use. Bro. I mean, the recent two characters they've released have been pretty good for Dihia, no? Like, uh, I know Farina uh, helps with Dihia a lot. I mean, Farina, like, universally helps with everyone, but... No, it's something. With how good Fontaine is, you hope Clarin is awesome too? True. I'd be very disappointed if... If uh, Clarin ends up being the only person that isn't good. Let me leave you a verse. Let the world collide! Buckle up! Let's begin. Have a safe trip. Let my name echo in song! Huh? Up! Witness the power of the one! Let's get it! Strike a pop! Wait now. Come here. Rain cutter. Time to shine. Look alive. A moment, please. Also spread apart. Get closer, please. Please. Fuck. Stay cool. Face your guilt. Witness the power of Google. Rain outlines your face. No, my son. Show me Actually, face. I know what. I know why. Okay, maybe D is not the best here. Here. Let's try it. Because I was freezing them. Actually, yeah. When I was freezing them, it was a lot better. Sadly. I'm sorry, D here. I'm sorry. But I gotta freeze them instead. What am I side exceed gameplay of? Florin. I really want to know if she uses a gun. If she doesn't use a gun, I will be pissed. Body and brain outlines your. Let's begin. Time to shine. Strike a pose. Think you can bully me? Look at you. Witness the power of Kuwa. Try Rosaria in the team. Oh, yeah, you're right. Rosaria will be good here. Get a little chilly. 
Zara will be really good here, actually. Let me leave you a burst. Huh? No, my soul. Let the world come Am I really not about to get? Good. Only 8k that time. Fuck. Okay, let's try Rosaria this time. One more time with Rosaria, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna leave it. Um oh, I fucking used trial. Keep switching to the trial one again. You have high expectations for snatch die since it must have something for where you from where you are. I wonder what will they do for Snezhnaya? Snezhinaya. That's the trial version. Again. You fight bears. Yeah. Time to shine. Witness the power of Kuhua. Rain outlines your shiver. You can't run. Have a safe trip. Let my name echo in song. Shower me with rain cutter. They'll be adding more beasts? Yeah, I mean, for sure. Yeah. Oh, please, how I hurt. Let my name echo in song! Use Rain Cutter! Rain outlines your face. Huh? Punishment! Boy, now. Let me weave you a burst. Let the world collide! <laughs> Rain outlines your wow. life. Judgment! I don't think I'm gonna get it this time again. If unless. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna get it. Fuck! Face your guilt! Let my name echo in song! <laughs> Fuck. Nah, I'm not gonna get it. All right. I'll take that. Almost, that's, that's almost 10K. I need 6K, oh I know. I mean, eh, that, whatever. Actually, no, I'm just kidding. I need this. I need, I need the Mora. <laughs> I don't have enough Mora. I have barely any more right now. <laughs> uh, fuck. I really don't have any more right now, so I'm, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna edit this real quick. Yeah. 
You've been thinking of my Gen my videos and using them as as a guide as you're playing Genshin. You could do that actually. That's a good idea. Oh my god, the aim mode. I forgot to turn it down. Quick for unsightly insects. The A mode, oh my Jesus. Bro. Bye bye. I'm not done yet. Today would be a good day to have C6 Farrah's on, but you know, they, they love to never give me what I want. Finally, some target practice. Let's light it up! Teamwork is lighter, they never met! Don't be scared. My guy needs to. Have fun with this gift! Behold! I don't think I'm using Bandit's ult too early. I need to use... Ow. Fuck. No, I'm not gonna get it still. Fuck me. Alright. Time. Yeah, Thuxy's buff is like ass. I mean, it does group them up though, which is nice. But it doesn't bring it. It doesn't ever bring in the fucking archers. Like these archers just like go all the way over there. Upon the gale. Don't be scared. My guiding star. Again, all the uh, all the way over there. How amusing. Oh, please. It's not like a skill issue. Kind of is. I really think about it. Like, see, they're all the way at the edge. Okay. Try this again. Oh, Shnezo. I'm doing fine. I missed that. Huh? Let's light it up! My guiding stars! Oh, mine took the ears of the storm! I'm going in! Know your place! Okay. Ended up using a uh, Ganyu Freeze team. Search for it. 
See, this would be easier if I had a C6 Farazon, but you know. Boy reverse things. Bro. The wind rises. Don't be scared. Everybody stand up. We'll see about that. Here's the storm. Behold. Filthy. <laughs> yeah, I'm still not gonna get it. What constellation my far is on? Oh. Wait. C1. Ah, uh, this one's tough. This one is kind of tough. I'll go with cat. Hmm. Okay. Better idea since people do not want to group up together. I'm bringing out Kazuha. I'm bringing out Kazuha because people just don't want to fucking group together, and it's annoying. Even then, this motherfucker still somehow manages to escape on the edge of the border. Into the wind. Fallen leaves adorn my night. Repeats its course. Hm. We'll see about that. Behold. That's close enough. The wind rolls. Dare to mess with me? We all first. Coming was for two. Okay. Everybody stand back. Ears of the store. Too late for regret. Clouds high. The birds call into the wind. Squall feeling. Bloom is a flower in Gorahan. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Fuck. Fuck. One with nature. Kept the wind rises. Bro, I'm still not gonna make it. Where do you think you're going? Unsightly insects. Into the wind. Even with Kazu, I'm still not going to make it. Bro. Holy shit, dude. What the fuck? You want infinite grouping, Venti, Kazu, Sucrose, and then... Yeah. Uh, Venti, Kazu, Akse. Like, bro, this shit is actually tough. He's the mono animal. We got this. We got this, surely. Falling leaves adorn my night. Bow your head. Time for takeoff. Yahoo! As one with wind and cloud, one with nature. Behold! Think you can get away? Here we go. I just have infinite Bensi. 
Infinite Venti always so funny. Cry louder. That's far enough. Time for takeoff. Fallen leaves adorn my night into the wind. I still don't think I'm gonna get it. Think you can get away? Now. The wind rises. No. Honestly, I think I might just I might just leave this one then. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave this one. Fuck it. Fuck it, we've been doing it for too long. Let's just go and... <clears throat> Let's just go do the last part. Before I waste more time on it. Um, Alright. Oh, I'm gonna go. We're all over here. I found my Twitch channel. You saw saw me on YouTube too for writing the Genshin story. I'm amazing. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. Hey, Fremenade, Doxy, we're here. Hello, Paimon. Hello, Traveler. Hi, Doxy. Is the crown ready? Yes. We're just waiting for Zuria now. She hasn't arrived yet. Then let's wait for her a little while. Or actually, maybe we can go find her. It's not too far from here anyway. Didn't she say she just lives on the hill over there? Mm hmm Hey, traveler, Paimon. Huh? Oh, and speaking of... Found you two at long last. Uh, I'm so glad that you both are all right. What's up? Huh? Why are you here, Miss Delaroche? And what could have happened to us? What could have happened? That water imp Thelxy, of course. After I gave you that commission the other day, I began to get worried and went asking about the boy that went missing. Oh, that? We've got it all figured out now. The boy you heard about was just Framine. Even the missing fish was his fault. Don't worry, we'll help you get the fish back as soon as we're done with this job. Oh, sorry about that. I've been diving in the area recently. Huh? Framine diving? No, 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 that's not what happened at all. I've heard a completely different account. What I was told is that about a month ago, a child tied a bunch of heavy seashells onto his body and walked into this open stretch of water. He never came back. Bruh. What could that be if not that water imp's work? Wait. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Oh, wait, is this where I think it's going? Wait, was that boy actually the son? Uh-oh. Uh, are, uh, are you sure? 100% sure. I've confirmed the account with several veteran fishermen I know. The child was only eight years old. His name was Lesko. Let's go to Stray. Oh. Um. Yeah. Wait. Let's go to Stray? Yeah, that's the name. They say the family took on the name after moving to the city from a place called Stray. Anyway, his mother is a pretty famous art dealer, while his father passed away from an accident many years ago. Oh, well, naturally, his mother was devastated by the incident and fell terribly ill. It's said that she left the court of Fontaine, and no one knows where she's gone. It... it, it can't be, right? Lesko Destre? Zuria Destre? It, it, it must be some sort of a 
Coincidence? Seems like we need to pay a visit. I'm sorry, miss. We've got to go check on something right now. Oh, I see. Well, you go on ahead. I just came to make sure that you're both all right. I'll head back then. Uh, please remember to take care. Uh-oh. This is really bad. Uh-oh. Wait, that's actually more fucked up than I thought it would be. So, d the son committed- uh, Wait, so did the son commit suicide, but nobody tried to help him? Who saw the account? What the fuck? Who saw? Who saw him do that? Her son is the Lulu. Wait, let me see that. Hello. Excuse us. Uh, is anyone here? Is this Madame Destre's place? Who are you? I have a patient here who needs quiet bed rest. Please leave us be unless you have anything urgent to report. Who is the patient? This is the residence of Zuria Destri, and I am Jala Khan, her family doctor. What did you mean by your question just now? Who else could be my patient? Your patient should be Zuria's son, right? She told us herself that her son had contracted loneliness syndrome. No, you're right. Young Master Lesko did have that illness once upon a time, but he's... Well, the young master's no longer with us. And now, the madame has come down with the same illness. Are you... her friends, by any chance? Oh, so wait, is she the Lulu too? Oh. So, when she had requested time to go out over the past few days, it was so she could spend them with you. So, if I'm understanding this right, the one who's suffering from uncontrollable delusions is the madame herself? She believes her son is still alive? That is correct. When the young master disappeared, she was organizing an art exhibit that she had specifically prepared for him. But since she had to leave the house, she was unable to see her son one last time. Yeah. That might have been the trigger for her regret. Or perhaps the family's fall into loneliness and grief was inevitable as soon as the old master passed away. First the son, and then the mother. But... how could that... be? She really looked like she had a handle on... everything! Her smile was so lovely, and she even told us to stay optimistic! But... you're saying... she... Well... Definitely, it definitely shows that Pama doesn't really, uh... Yeah. You know. Those actions are proof that she can no longer differentiate between Understand. fantasy and reality. All the other things that she told us about her son... Were those fake too? No, those were all real. Although, they were all things that happened before the young master left us for good. Madame's time has just never moved forward since his passing. I see. So after her son left, she created a fantasy world where her son was still with her. She was looking for a way to cure his illness when she ran into us. So, how is Zuria now? She has been in a good mood the past few days, even humming a song when she returned from her stroll. She even began discussing with me the idea of using deliberate guidance to ease the illness. It was all going well, until last night. She spent a whole night staring at the shell the young master left behind, and the words that he had inscribed onto it. Then she broke down once more. I prescribed some sedatives, and she's currently resting. But, but then what should we do? How can we help her? There has to be something we can do. Don't panic, Paimon. Even though this is a devastating piece of news, we must all calm down first. What should we do? I need to think. 
I need to remember the old house of the hearth and the children who lived in it. Those patients and what their doctors said back then. Hmm. Ah, what if... Eureka! Dr. Jalakon, have you seen a picture book? The madame should have brought it back with her. Hmm. Are you thinking about trying the guidance therapy she talked to me about before? Well, it's worth a shot. I'll go get the book. Quickly retrieve the book. Yes, this is it. We still need to finish the adventure in the picture book. That's right. If what Dr. Jean Lacan said was true, the past few days have been very helpful to Zuria. So we should complete this journey. We need to show her that her child has found a happy ending in the world of her dreams. But... but wouldn't that just make it harder for her to accept reality? One must first face reality before accepting it. True. The madame has been crushed by her feelings of grief and can no longer bring herself to face reality. Our first priority would be to get her out of this state. Right. Before today, I had thought she wanted to use Thelxi's fantastic adventures to save her son. But now, I think she might need it to save herself. And if we could complete it, we should be able to give her some feeling of inspiration and closure. Maybe those feelings would be enough to give her some courage to face reality again. We'll have to give it a try. There's no time to waste. Let's set off right away. Imagine how impactful it would have been for if Farina, for example, would have told the Traveler the plan and then all of Fontaine's people would be gone forever. That would make for a very, a much, much darker story. A much, much darker story. I don't think I don't think they're ready for that yet. <laughs> Screw it. What we're gonna do? Start a team. That's not. Isuka. We are here again. This is the final part of Thelxie's journey, but the most important person is missing. Everyone, please don't be so down and gloomy. Remember what she told us? If we were to feel trouble, oh, the patient would become anxious as well. Neck. Back. Ah. <sighs> You're right. Paimon needs to smile. If we have to give something to Zuria, it should be our smiles. We have to keep smiling as we finish this adventure. And then she'll be able to recover, right everyone? Yep. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure she will. Oh god, ow! <laughs> Just watch out, everyone! They're coming at us again! There's no fear! Prince Felxy looks stronger than ever today! He must be going all out! Uneven hair? Time to make me bald? Yeah, that's the plan. I'm, I might just buzz all... I'm most likely gonna buzz my hair. When my birthday comes. Surrender and be gentle. 
Isn't today my birthday? I wish. Sounds hype. It's fun to regrow my hair out. I really do want to. I really do. I'm sorry. I have to go. I made a promise to my friends, and I'm already very late. But, Madame, you're still... Don't try to stop me. Today's the most important day for treating Thelxie. We'll use the guidance method. Didn't you also say that you'd think it'd work? I'm not trying to stop you, Madame. It's just... Could you tell me the name of your child? Dr. Jalakan, how can you forget the name of your own patient? His name is Thalxi. He's the prince of the Kingdom of Water Imps. We will go today to reclaim his crown and attend his coronation ceremony. I see. Madame, please rest assured, everything is still on schedule. Your friends have already departed to find... Wait, look. They've already returned. Zuria! Zuria! We've retrieved the crown! Huh, Paimon, everyone, have you really? Yes, but the coronation ceremony still hasn't taken place, because we felt like you should be the one to preside over it. Wonderful! How wonderful! Thalxi, my child, my child, are you hearing this? Everything you lost will now come back to you, and soon, very soon, you will never be lonely again. That's why I was wondering why she was, why when she was talking to her child, she was talking to the robot instead of like, you know, her actual child. That's what I was wondering this entire time. It was a little weird, very suspicious. Can you draw me as a Genshin character for my birthday? Sure. And the last page of the picture book. It's still waiting for you to illustrate in color. Right. The picture book. The picture book. But I don't know what I should put on the last page. Don't worry. Thilksy and his friends all know what she got on it. Get ready, Zuria. We'll describe everything for you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> At last, Thilksy and his friends were able to drive off the final invading monsters and achieve a dashing victory. Their success was complete, and the recovered crown resplendent. Why is the crown just like in a random place up here? The water imps, finally returning to their homes, showered the prince with love and applause as he greeted them. They once again offered their precious shells to the prince and reconstructed the rainbow bridge of old. As he watched the scene unfold, the prince could not help but be touched by its beauty. By everyone's happiness, the prince stepped onto the Rainbow Bridge and took a good look at all the friends who had gone on the journey with him. There stood the Traveler, Goddess Paimon, Fremine, and... Huh? Where's the last person? The prince looked frantically around, but could not find the person he wanted to see most. At that moment, the person suddenly appeared on the other side of the bridge. She walked towards him with a smile and slowly lifted her veil. The prince could not hold back his tears. He recognized then that the mysterious person that had been by his side the whole time was none other than his mother. Surya walked across the bridge and placed the crown above the prince's head. She smiled down upon him as she said, My prince, my king, my king, you shall never ever need to feel lonely again. That's the end of the story, Zuria. Thank you. Thank you all. I am so sorry, my child. Maman should have spent more time with you. Did you hear the story? You'll never have to feel lonely again. <laughs> Mama loves you too. Uh, what's happening? Is Zuria talking to Thelxie? What is Thelxie saying? Quick, 
put on my diving helmet. There's a transcription module in it that's compatible with Thelxie's output signals. You should be able to use it to understand what Thelxie's saying. Ernie walks up to you and pulls out his diving helmet before placing it on your head. Cool. Aw, I love you, Mama. So that's what Doxy is saying. Mama, Mama loves you too. But I love you more, Mama. Wait, what's this? What? Did you see something? Mama, I'm getting a little sleepy. If it's time for bed, can you hum a lullaby to me again? Of course, my dearest child. As long as you want to hear it, Mama will always hum for you. Ah. Thank you, Mamon. Your lullaby has always been my favorite. Now that I've heard it, I can return to my dream and to the kingdom of water imps in peace. <sighs> my poor darling. Please don't forget. I will always love you. My love is greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. I won't forget, Mamon. And so is my love for you. Greater than the entire distance between here and the kingdom of water imps. Aww. Night, Mamon. Aw, that was sad. Depression. Three days later at Fremenay's camp. Traveler, Paimon, you're here. Fremenay, why did you call us in such a hurry? Did you hear something from Zuria? Oh, if it's not good news, Paimon doesn't want to hear it. Don't worry, it's definitely great news. The Madame came here for a visit just now with her doctor. Color has returned to her cheeks, and she sounded full of energy as well. She said she'd like to return to the court to continue hosting the art exhibit. But this time, she'll work with her doctor to exhibit some picture books related to the illness. Of course, Thelxie's fantastic adventures and the guidance therapy will be included in the exhibit as well. She'd like to use her experience to help others. Mm-hmm. Here, please take this picture book with you. The Madame wanted you to have it. If, at some point in the future, you were to run into someone with similar troubles, she hopes the book would be of use to you. Uh, but this is her son's story, right? Is it really okay to give the book to us? I'll take it. Don't worry, it's just Boy. a copy. She still has the original. It's extremely important to her. All right, then there's no problem. <sighs> it feels good knowing we've contributed to something important. Paimon definitely didn't expect the fantasy adventure to be so useful. Paimon was a little worried about how everything would turn out. After all, fantasy is just fantasy. Bro. Paimon, do you know what the madame said? She said... That at the moment when she placed the crown on Thelxie's head, she felt like she really saw something beautiful. Her child had returned, and he told her that he loved her. She also said that was when she was finally able to bid farewell to her son. She felt like at that moment, she was healed by some mystical power, and she was filled with courage from head to toe. Really? But could that just be another part?
part of her fantasy? Perhaps. <laughs> but if fantasy is just fantasy, and the fantasy world is not real, then how could it still grant us these powers that we can continue to use in the real world? So perhaps fantasy is not just fantasy after all. But, but what else could it be? A descent of the fairy tale world into the real world. At that time, the wondrous fairy tale temporarily became reality and influenced real things in our world. That has to be what happened. You saw it too, didn't you? Like, that Bro. can't be what happened, right? There's just no way. Wouldn't it be like a miracle if that really happened? Yes, I suppose that would be a miracle. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place would be able to see something beautiful and experience a miracle for themselves. Real. However said, I have hope for all the depressed gotcha players out there. <laughs> I think I got all of them. The water imp prints. I'm pretty sure this, yeah, this is a furniture. If I, imagine if you could have the water imp prints as a pet instead. That'd be, that'd be cute. But no. And my first Fremine. Sick. My first ever Fremine. Well, I've got nowhere to go. Very cool, very cool. Check the event banner. This one? Am I gonna build him? Maybe, maybe. I'm kinda broke right now with, uh, with Mora, so I kinda have to build up my Mora reserves before I go building another character again. <laughs> Like, for example, you could... I only have... One million. Which is not a lot. Yeah. That was good. I like that. That was a sweet little... That was a sweet story. I mean, bittersweet, but... I liked that. They really are leading into the depression arc, though. <laughs> they really want to make y'all feel depressed, huh? That's not broke? I only have 5k Mora? Okay, well, if I try to level up my talents, I'm definitely going to go broke. So, it's broke to me. Ugh. Oh, also, let me see what the, um, if I could find uh, the Morse code. Belks. Morse code. Okay, so this is what someone found, I think. The first thing I saw when I searched up on Twitter. The lore team has compiled a list of Thelxie's Morse code text and all their decryptions. Uh, day one, how are you? 
And then the second one is company. Third one is alone. Fourth is dream. I have to go back and see like where uh where these where these appear at. Cause I don't rem I don't remember which dialogue these are in response to. Five miracle. Now day two, he says that's it. <laughs> Seven, I love you, mom. Aw. Eight, how are you? And then day three, how are you? Are you okay? I love you, mom. That's cute. I gotta learn Morse code. I gotta freaking learn Morse code so I could send out messages, secret messages to people. Weren't here for a bit, so you don't know if I answered this, but did I check the note close to the teleport on the giant tower? It's worth reading when I can. Um... The note... The giant tower, you say? Um, which one? Which giant tower? Right by the TP to the tower? This? Portal tower? Is it? Okay, so I have to go over here then. No TPs? Yeah, I haven't explored this area at all. Sorry. Look how cool the underwater is. Love this underwater area. Need seven to eight mil to level 90 and triple crown a character, you think? Yeah, that's why I say I need to save my Mora up a little bit. So I was busy crowning all of my- I was I was busy crowning a bunch of my five stars. Like, I've crowned uh, Dihia, I've crowned uh, Scaramouche, crowned Sino. Crown Kazua. I need to crown Venti next. I crowned Eula. Um, and I have like Kuching and Mona to do. I haven't even built D Luke at all. Yeah, that's what I've been. That's pretty much what I've been busy doing. It's below you. Oh, it's above. What about Ganyu? <clears throat> Unfortunately, Ganyu will be staying level one. Is it this? Is it this note? That? Okay. The Tower of Ipsit. Ipsissimus comes from an old concept from the ancient Fontanian kingdom of Remuria, and it was used to describe a powerful will that could rule, sustain, and destroy the world. This tower was designed by the Nazis in Kreitz Ordo, and it represents the evolution of the human soul and the infinite mysteries of the world. The Nazis in Kreitz Ordo believe that people continuously refine themselves through samsara cycles. These include Hyperborea Nazlantian? Remuria, and when the in the first half of the fourth samsara, Kara, Kron Arya, which we are presently experiencing. Please take note that these are just names given to these eras by the Ordo based on ancient texts, and this evolution refers to spiritual evolution. There is no intent here to antagonize any research results obtained by the academia. The human spirit undergoes the loss of paradise, the, the defeat of evil dragons, the original sin and baptism, and finally freedom from the gods. Finally, we would like to thank the following ladies and gentlemen for their generous support. Madam Blank, Miss Eliphas Blank, Mr. Blank. Most of the names have been struck out. So wait. They're saying... So we're in a samsara? Is what they're saying.
Huh. So this entire this entire world has existed four times before, or well, rather three times before. But had wait what? Wait, so that means hmm. one for each descender. Uh. Hmm. You might be right. So, okay, the human spirit go undergoes a loss of paradise. The loss of paradise. Uh, so, what I'm going to guess, I might be completely wrong. The loss of paradise could probably be... Loss of paradise would be losing Kanria, is what I'm guessing. The defeat of evil dragons would be getting rid of all the... Um, what was it? What were they called? Ah, I forgot the name of them. Fuck. What were the name? What were the name of them? What? What, what is literally the race of of Nuvulet? Sovereigns. Yeah, sovereigns. So the loss of paradise is the loss of Conria. The defeat of evil dragons is the defeat of the sovereigns. The original sin would be the um the prophecy that we just went through. Yeah, the original sin and baptism, which is what we just went through, and finally freedom of the from the gods will be what we're heading to next. Connery comes after the sovereigns. Maybe it's not in order. Hmm. Interesting. So, all this shit has happened before. We're just kind of playing our part in the story. Hmm. Still can't believe that this, all this lore is just in a piece of paper? <laughs> True. Yeah. Classic Horrorverse. Classic Horrorverse. Putting literally the biggest lore drop you could ever read on a piece of fucking paper in an island. In an island. Next to a teleport. Pretty sure Lost Paradise is something else. The defeat of the dragons is the suppression of the older of the old order of dragons. Thus the creation of the Gnosis. Ajira's original sin is creating is in creating humans and freedom of the gods seem to be the current path we're heading towards. Okay. That does make a little more sense. Cause if um if the loss of the dragons, if the loss of sovereigns came came before loss of uh, Conria, that would make more sense. Hmm. Hmm. Loss of paradise be times before the Archon War. Mm. Could be. Because we did lose a lot of, like, good people in the Archon War, apparently. Conrad might have marked the, the start of a new Samsara. Hmm.
Lost Paradise might be the first appearance of Forbidden Knowledge. You just have to think what event could have been called the Lost of Paradise. Because you have the, um... Like, what tragic-ass event that, that has occurred in Tevac could mean that? Because you do have the loss of Conria. You have the Archon War. You have, um... Basically, a, f a bunch of shit that you could probably call it. It might refer to the destruction of the united human civilization that was first established by the primordial one after they defeated the dragons. So, if that's the case, then what was the defeat of the evil dragons? Because if the, if the dragons were defeated before, like during the loss of par like before the loss of paradise, then what is the defeat of dragons that came after the loss of paradise? Or maybe it's just not in order. Because I feel like something's not in order here. Isn't there an artifact set called Paradise Loss? Yeah, Flower of Paradise Lost. This is all the details, though. Amethyst bloom that has been beautifully sculpted in the image of an ancient extinct flat. Oh no. <laughs> Wait. What if. Will it be in the domain? It's in the archive? Oh, okay. Um. In a bygone time, which only the Jin recall, the Lord of Flowers was cast aside by the heavens. Her magnificent vessel was a, was left a savage husk. Her kinsfolk punished by way of being stripped of their minds. Legend has it that the Lord of Flowers wandered the barren waste for seventy-two nights. Her heels were worn through the merciless gra gravel. Her wounds gushed into limpid springs, turning into streams with no boundaries. Thence those streams flowed into verdant gardens, from which sprouted night blue water lilies. Water lilies are the mothers of the jinn, and the jinn were birthed from intoxicating dreams and the bitter memories of loss. First jinn were creatures of wisdom. They indulged in innocent dreams and loved just as sweet. To thank the creator, the infantile jinn took their mistress by the arm and granted her a laurel wreath of wild... How the fuck do you say that? Cr Chrysanthemums? What if when the traveler is on their Omega Big Brain moment, and suddenly, they stare directly at us, the player? The real ending of Genshin Impact is that we are in a dream and we have to wake up like it's Hannah Montana. <laughs> Thank you, local sleep paralysis, for 11 months. Welcome back. That is our Genshin Impact moment. This is our Genshin Impact. 
Oh Lord of Flowers, Master of the Master of the Garden, we beg of thee, stay, leave us not. Yes, please, dear mother, mistress of forgetting and wine, we beg of you, remain queen of this garden. As so, detained by the gentleness of the jinn, the exiled goddess remained in this garden of flowers, gorgeous purple flowers bearing a semblance to the moon bloomed wherever she stopped by. They were named Padisara. Since all the elements have dragons, where's the electro dragon? I don't think we know yet. We don't know yet. They could just not have an Electro Dragon. It could just be fucking dead planks somehow. Yeah, but I don't think I don't think this I don't know if this description has anything to do with what we read, but interesting read. Where Genshin was mentioned in other languages, but they called it Allogenes in the English translation, which are the vision holders that is sent to Celestia. Oh. Allogenes. Allo. Yeah. We mercs have one simple rule whoever pays the most is your new boss. Ain't they Electro Dragon the Snake Skeleton? No, I don't think. I'm pretty sure Orobashi is not the uh, the sovereign or the electro dragon. Orobashi is just a fucking giant snake. That I'm pretty sure was supposed to be. I'm pretty sure Orobashi is more related to like Enka, like not Enkanomiya, but like uh, Watatsumi Island. Yeah. Y yeah, Nuvalet did say most dragons have already passed away. You check when- Check in the Archon quest. The monster at Archon quest when, uh... Venti mentioned the Allogenes. Where is that at? It's like three X. Almost at the end. I need a search feature. I'm gonna need a search feature for this shit, man. Venti's at. Or is Venti? Aha, here it is. In truth, every Actually. as you know, visions are external magical foci that only a small minority of people possess. They use these visions to channel elemental power. In truth, every wielder of a vision is one who can attain godhood and ascend to Celestia. We call such people Allogenes. Allogenes? Paimon's never heard of them before. <laughs> That's because this is a secret that only Archons are privy to. We don't need primitive tools like visions. Instead, each Archon has an internal magical focus that resonates directly with Celestia itself, known as a Gnosis. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So basically everyone blessed with the vision is allowed to go to is allowed to fucking go to heaven, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Everyone with the vision, like, has a chance to go to heaven or some shit. Whatever Celestia is. Then what about the rest of the people on Earth? What about the rest of the people on Tevat? Did you say fuck them? Damn. Damn. 
Heaven looks more like a jail. Hmm. We need to talk to Venti again. God damn it. We need to... <sighs> Please let us talk to Venti about lore again. Please. He knows something. He knows something that we don't. And he they're just holding it from us. Let us talk to him again. Like we've been waiting for we've been waiting to have an actual serious conversation with them for so long and they just haven't given it to us they're actually they're actually you know what they're actually making him more suspicious by withholding this information from us they're making it more suspicious by not giving us a chance to talk to him about this shit Surely his part two will be soon. We can only hope. Any leakers? Leakers? You, you, you got something to tell us? You hiding something from us, leakers? Dude, the first leaker that finds that shit out, they're gonna be- they're gonna fucking have their mind blown. Only time allowing leakers. Yeah, the first leaker that finds that uh gets to find out uh when we talk to Venti again seriously is probably gonna have like is probably gonna like be shaking. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Hunted by horror versus lawyers. Yeah, they got they get a big fucking target on their head. Huh? Albedo, Venti, and Mono's second story quest are going to be lore bombs. Yeah, all, th all three of those characters are very important, and they just don't want to give them to us. <laughs> Albedo only appears in the winter. Mona appears rarely, only during only during Genshin or, like, Monsat events. And even then, she's kind of just, like, you know, there for, oh, I need money. I need money so I can buy more books. Here's some astrology facts. Bye bye. <sighs> Except for, you know, recently in Fontaine, but. And then Venti, they just. They, they, they just don't want it. They just don't want to give up anything with him. Imagine they drop everything in a limit event. You know what would be really funny? We're all wishing for the Ludi Harpastum, and that uh, Venti tells us shit during the Ludi Harpastum. But the Ludi Harpastum is still going to be a limited time event. So if they actually lore drop everything during the Ludi Harpastum event. That would still be. That would still be. Lore dropping during a limited event. That would be. That would be funny and sad at the same time. You really thought we were gonna get an Albedo quest this year? Me too. Actually, isn't this like the first year we haven't had an Albedo quest? It's kind of weird. Hexen Zirkle. Fucked up with, Hex with, with Hexen Zirkle. Isn't it the second year? It is? I was confused when Mona said something about Hexen Circle and Fontaine because that never was mentioned. Yeah, that's what I was saying in the uh, in the video that people who have absolutely no idea who Hexen Circle is are will probably be confused as hell when she drops that. Although I did hear that they like provide an explanation for you about like like an introduction to Hexen Circle, like how um how they would you think give I've got a sharp tongue. Hush. How they would give a, an introduction to, to Scaramouche if you didn't, you know, meet him during the, uh, during the event that he f first appeared in. Mm. 
but still. Or is it doesn't want you to miss anything by not playing limited events, but you learn, uh, but you just learn about it much later in the main story, like the Tony saying that the sky is fake. Even though some of us still, already knew it back in 1.1, 1. 1. 1, yeah. They'll be able to find an oasis of their own. It's kind of like they they just want to drop life. it early. They they drop it early for the people that actually play it, that actually play the game. And then later on, they'll be like, oh, hey, by the way, you missed this from a limited time event. Go play the event if you want to learn this early. And don't be confused later on. Which is still a little, which is still a little fucked up, but I understand where they're coming from. Maybe next time will be something big? Yeah. I don't know. It's definitely gonna be something. You watch my old videos to really understand the context? Even my old videos are like, I think I'm, I think I'm still missing like some videos. Like, uh, like my very old videos, the first ones I've posted, I, I skipped a lot of dialogue from from those videos, so those don't even provide a lot of context. They're just kind of like funny moments. <laughs> they're just they're just funny moment videos. They don't. I like skipped a lot of the uh, dialogue in those. Venti definitely knows something because according to lore, that Venti goes into hibernation after helping Monsat, but he's still he's still out and about even though Monsat is very safe right now. Hmm. Well, we did almost have Fontaine get completely destroyed. And they're also collect and also Sneznaya is collecting all the gnosis. So maybe Venti is a little bit interested in that. Then again, he did get smacked around by fucking Senora. <laughs> so I don't know what he's doing really. <clears throat> Any thoughts on Nathlon? I am hopeful that Nathlon will be a very, uh, how do I put it? It'll at least go a little deeper into, like, about the Harbingers because I know we meet the captain there. We get to meet the captain there. Oh, and we also get to meet uh, Varka there, I'm pretty sure, as well. Since they're there with the captain. They met up with the captain there. And I also hope it kind of beats my ass. Because if, if we're going into a nation of war and it ends up being easy as shit... This game is never going to get harder. This game will never, ever... Have difficult content ever again. Inazuma might have been the last region that was somewhat difficult in terms of combat. That wasn't like artificial content like the fucking Sparrow Abyss. C6, you're just gonna have fun, for real. And then people complained it was too hard. Yeah, that's why they've toned it down a lot. That's why they've toned down the difficulty of like the puzzles and the the exploration and the enemies a lot. So, if Barker has noodle arms like Ito, you'll cry. <laughs> you already know they will. You guys already know they will. Let's be let's be completely honest with ourselves. They are going to nerf the shit out of it. They're not going to give us a buff character. Risley will probably be an example of the buffest they will go. You already know. You already know. Let me break those delusions for you. Just cover him in buff armor? They could do that.
Buh, buh, buh. The desert's a tough adversary. All right. But at least it doesn't hide anything. Is there anything else? I want to do. Get. 